He either had that respect for you or he didn't. That's not going to make him lose respect for you. If he rated you already, my analogy is this, I always say this, mm. this is going to fuck me up. <laughs> It's like, it's like when you get a car. Man, then you lot bought cars. You bought a car. Everyone loves your car, yeah? Yeah. And says, it's the best car in the world. It's a Porsche. You get used to it. You go and drive a Fiesta. You're in your Porsche. It's in your It's a normal whip. You drive a Fiesta and you think, fuck, I need my Porsche back. So you've you know got to drive saying? a Fiesta to know the value of the Porsche. When, no, once my point is, when you come back to the home, you realise what you could have lost. Oh. So not all men. I'm saying if he had, if he respects his Porsche... Once he's driven a Fiesta and comes back, he's going to be like, yeah, I am fucking with them. The Fiesta. So how many times are you going to drive the Fiesta? someone who don't the Porsche in the first place. How many times are you going to drive the Fiesta? Because sometimes... Some, like people driving are, a, some people only need to drive it once. But in a long-term relationship. Relationships are hard to maintain, yeah? yeah. And some people are in relationships 10 years, 15 years. Are we being realistic to say to these people that you can't drive your Fiesta more than a couple times? Because sometimes you need to tap out to tap back in. But like my man said, yeah, you look withhold sex from I'm not listen wait let me land if we jump on me women withhold sex yeah and women use sex as a weapon I believe especially in long term relationships jeez you, you think you lot don't you think I you don't, lot don't, don't, free up the, you, don't you know, know what yeah I've been in relationships I can only, I can only talk from the male side and I'm, I'm going to tell you from the female side you lot use your cocky as a weapon too alright 100% alright I can't some argue. of you lot do that whole oh, turn around business yeah but I, I, it's not that if a man ain't on it you don't think he's gay uh, you know, you're gay, you don't have sex with me. But when you don't want it, you are tired. Yeah, we're tired, yeah. That's not, that's nuts. So what, are you tired? So you can't be tired? No, he needs to be ready. Well, when you are tired, you don't going to be tired? <laughs> yeah. Or you're on your period? Yeah. And what's the mouth doing? Do you know what I fake periods before, you know? What? The mouth ain't on his period. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, man? What's that mouth about, man? <laughs> but the mouth is tired. Maybe the mouth been... is tired. <laughs> We've Love been talking man. all day. You look, listen, you made this commitment that you want to be with, man. Physical is a big part of it. How many times a week do you expect sex in a relationship? A four, about four. Four or five. We're working, fam. Yeah? But I'm getting up at six o'clock. So am I. I'm, you, I'm looking after the youths till nine o'clock. So technically, I'm getting about five hours sleep and you want peace. You can't arch. That's all you got to do, arch. You ain't going to do nothing else for me. No, but then you it's say I'm, no, but then you say I'm dead. No, I wouldn't if say I you're dead. If I just arch, you're if the arch dead, is proper, then you're gonna go to the fiesta. No, because we know what it is as well. Oh, come if it's on. a Wednesday and yeah. we got work tomorrow, yeah. I'm not expecting you to hang from the chandelier. <laughs> but on a Saturday, you expect me to hang from the chandelier. You want me to stay, innit? I want to. I want to stay here. No, I'm not. This sounds rough, yeah. Oh my days. This sounds rough. They're gonna make me sound like an animal. Oh. I'm saying this. You're supposed to, in my theory. You, if a man's, um, listen, it's, 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 a, it's a man's nature, yeah, to want more than he should have on the plate. Yes, I you're believe. greedy. Men are greedy. Right. So right. if you make, if I cheat on you with you. Cheat on me with me? Oh, I'm out. a version of him. Right. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. What do you think? Sasha Fierce is fucking. <laughs> it's all, you gotta give, give me, put the blonde wig on. Ooh! <laughs> so you can rip it off. Whatever. But if you, if you're just gonna be in your headscarf and you're not in your, in your, in your 90. In the big pick knickers. Then what, what do I do? This off. is what this is what we Take sign up for for the rest of my life. You're Take tired. I'm tired. I'm head scarf. I'm t- no effort. But I go gym and I do all these things. Well, you doing gym for the other gal, then? I'm doing gym for you as well. I'm gonna stay clean you as well. You hear that? Yeah, for well. myself, firstly, <laughs> like everything else I do. Yeah. But yeah, because I want you to be, to be proud of me when I go out. You know what I mean? But you're gonna just lay there in your head scarf, do your hair. But my pom poms are tied up. My pom pom, I've oh. got a headscarf. What, what, with the lights are off. What, that, look, next morning, you want me to look good. Let me tell you that headscarf is essential. For if work? I, yes, for why me? can't I look good for work? For work, husband. You, go. you got a work, husband. Come on, let's be real. I think we all have a work, yeah, husband. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not even going to lie to you. Yeah. It's, right. it's imperative to make the day go by nicely. This is what I'm trying to say. Because he buys me lunch. So, really, now, now, now we're packing no, pri- my lunch. Are you now, getting up at five o'clock and making the sandwiches? No, you're not. Now we're prioritizing the work, husband. That's the dude as well, by the way, you look. That when you do get caught cheating, he's gonna be the nigga that slides you. <laughs>